Good morning. As I was just getting my uh, notes together, thank you, uh, Phil, Phil Pantano, for uh, putting everything together. He's a guy who always makes sure I look good up here, and uh, Tanya also. Um, as you might know, I'm Kevin Nephew. I'm president and CEO of Seneca Gaming Corporation. On behalf of our team at Seneca Niagara, I want to thank you for joining us for this special celebration. And truly, it's going to be a great celebration. We our Seneca Gaming Corporation team members, elected officials, our friends and supporters from organized labor, our trusted business partners, colleagues from the local business community, and neighbors from throughout Western New York, welcome to all. We are here today to celebrate a moment of great importance in the history of the Seneca Nation and the history of Western New York. To kick things off, please welcome the president of the Seneca Nation, Matthew Pagels. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everyone, for just being here today. Before I get started, I, too, need to uh, welcome the representatives from other governments who are here joining us today. Uh, Robert Restino, Sean Ryan, Assemblyman Morinello, Emily Reed from Kennedy's office, um, other partners from Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center, the trades, the foods, the vendors, the staff, the people, everybody. We can't thank you enough. Thanks for accepting the invitation to celebrate with us and hear firsthand what the Seneca Nation means for Western New York. 20 years ago tomorrow, just over there, one of the most significant events in our recent history took place. On August 18, 2002, Seneca Nation President Cyrus Schindler signed the Seneca Nation's Class Three Gaming Compact. It was a bold move in the nation's part some might say a bit of a gamble, but I think it paid off. <clears throat> 20 years later, the positive impacts of that singular moment continue to be seen and felt in the lives of countless families, businesses, and Western New York, and so far beyond. You're going to hear directly from some of them just in a few minutes, and you'll hear why they're proud to stand with Seneca. First, let me tell you about the Seneca Nation and what that moment 20 years ago has meant for our people. <clears throat> the Seneca Nation is 8,500 people strong, most of whom live right here in Western New York. Like other governments, we provide a range of services to our community, from health care to education, housing, and recreation. Not one of those are earned or paid for on the backs of the Seneca Nation or the people. We cannot and we do not tax our own. Our ability to fund these critical services is fueled by this this gaming at our business enterprises, and that's the primary source of our government's funding. So for the Seneca people, our gaming business means access to health care, social services, including elder benefits, child and family welfare programs. It means infrastructure like water, sewer, utilities, broadband. It means funding our mortgage program and our rental housing. In short, it means a better quality of life. And we read, we've been able to provide that for 20 years now. While those improvements have been dramatic, still we have so far to go. What kind of difference can this business make in the life of every Seneca? Well, I can tell you that personally, I am who I am and where I am because my nation invested in me. There's no other way to say it. Over the last 20 years, We've been able to expand and strengthen our programs and services to reach more Senecas and give them tools and resources to build a better future. That's what this business means. It's not just business or politics or dollars or cents. This is about a people. This is about a nation, the lives, the livelihoods, and strengthening and preserving that nation and our culture. That's why we're here. 
That's the true measure of what we've accomplished for the last 20 years. And that is why we need a fair new compact so we can continue to make this difference. People are counting on us. And as you can see, people are standing with us. With that, Nyawi, I'm going to turn things back over to Kevin. Thank you again for being here. Thank you, President Pagels, for those great comments. The signing of the compact was an all-important first step that opened the door to an unprecedented wave of development, investment, job creation, and economic rebirth. But after that first step, more was needed to follow up, including the dramatic transformation of an aging convention center into a world-class gaming destination. Many thought it couldn't be done. The Seneca Nation did it in 100 days. How? Well, we had the best skilled tradespeople and construction workers on our team, helping us to make the impossible possible. They were there with us then. They've been with us through more than $1 billion in construction and development projects since, and they're standing with us today. Please welcome the President of the Building and Construction Trades Council, Mr. Paul Brown. How y'all doing? Good? Um, I don't know how many people know this, but uh, my family and the Senecas go way back. My uh, grandfather built a cabin and lived in it down in Steenburg, literally across the street from the Senecas. So my uncles paled around with them, and when the uh, Kazua, Kazua Dam fiasco happened, we had to move up the hill the same as they did. In fact, uh, my cabin is about a mile and a half from Mojan. Am I allowed to say that here? Mm -hmm. um, so our history goes a long way back, and I had a, had a tremendous amount of respect for them, but then when they said they're going to build a casino in 100 days, I kind of thought they were nuts, I, especially seeing how it's in Niagara Falls. Nothing happens in 100 days in Niagara Falls. But I came here about day 35, and there was about nine gazillion people here working on this thing, and I go, oh, well, maybe they're going to do it, and they did. But they didn't just stop there. They built this beautiful hotel, and then came the Buffalo Creek Casino fiasco. There, they wanted to buy Fulton Street, which was a dead-end street, and normally the Common Council would just give it to them, but all of a sudden, the anti-gambling people got wind of it and decided to send 200 people to a public hearing. So um, the Senecas very calmly explained what they were doing, why they wanted to do it, why they wanted the street, and the Common Council, of course, went for it, six to three, just got through. So it's been a long time. Uh, one thing I can say, when the Senecas say they're going to do it, they do it. I wish everybody was like them. Kind of wish they'd give them all Western New York so we could get a lot more done. Um, <laughs> and I just wanted to say congratulations, you guys, on 20 years. Thank you, Paul. And I agree with your comment. Thanks again to all the trades for working so hard for us and so closely over these last 20 years. Let's keep it going. So, running a dynamic 24-7 business at three locations takes an incredible vendor network. I can't even guess the number of vendors Seneca Gaming Corporation has done business with in, a, in the last 20 years. After all, we use everything, from office products and playing cards to automobiles and fruits and vegetables. But sometimes, a business is more than a vendor. They're a partner. And that's what Palmer Foods has been for Seneca Gaming Corporation 
a true partner. When the pandemic hit, we had kitchens and freezers full of perishable food. We were closing our doors, and nobody had any idea what was going to happen or when things would change. What were you going to do? What were we going to do? And I think we all face that challenge. But Palmer Foods didn't hesitate. They showed up and helped us deliver food to the Seneca Nation elders and others who needed it. That's a real partner, and that's a supporter of our community. And it's just one anecdote of how Palmer Foods has gone above and beyond for us over the years. Please join me in welcoming our great partner, Kip Palmer from Palmer Foods. Kip. Good morning. They don't let me out very much, so I'm not going to be as good a speaker as most people that have been up here already. I'm the president and CEO of a 172-year-old company, Palmer Food Services in Rochester, New York. On behalf of the 700 associate employees that we have, I want to take this moment to say thank you from the bottoms of our heart for everything that the Seneca Nation has done for us as a company. We were here 20 years ago, and you introduced us to the gaming industry. We had no experience in it. We were primarily an up and down the street, independently owned and operated restaurant supplier. But you gave us a chance. And over the course of time, our relationship grew. Because let's be honest about it, and it's already been said a number of times before, everything in life is about people. And everything in life is about relationships. So our relationship grew, little by little. In 2014, you gave us the opportunity to be the primary. I will never forget it for the rest of my life. On the sixth floor with the, with the former president, and she said to me, why should we give you the opportunity for this? And I said to her, I said, you'll never know what we're going to be able to do until you give us the opportunity. Would you please give us the opportunity for that? And they said yes. And it's been such a wonderful blessing for us as a company. We've talked a little bit about the difficulties that we've all experienced through the pandemic. But I will tell you, that our relationship with Seneca actually got stronger through the pandemic because Seneca cared about us as a vendor and we truly cared about Seneca as a client. We don't just have a relationship with Seneca. Seneca. We have a partnership with Seneca. You are part of our family in Rochester, New York and part of our Palmer Food Services family. And we're so appreciative. All I can say is our business has thrived, and part of that has been, has been because of our relationship with, with Seneca Nation. So again, on behalf of the 700 folks that I report to every single day, okay, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everything. Blessings to you. And onward and upward. Thank you. So, Kip Palmer, thank you for those great comments. We also want to welcome one of our important community partners, Joe Ruffalo, from Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. Please, Joe, join me up here for a few comments. Thank you very much.
Good morning. First, uh, I certainly want to thank President Pagels and President Nephew for allowing me to have the privilege to speak to you today in terms of the significant importance that the Seneca Nation and the Seneca Gaming Corp has played at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. And more important, in terms of how it's improved the quality of life here in the Niagara region for the residents that work and live here. So yes, I mean, you've heard over 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, I had heard a rumor about the Seneca Nation converting the convention center into a casino. And so I had to hear it for myself. So I made an appointment to meet with Mickey Brown, the leader back then of the Seneca Gaming Corp. And I met with him in his office. And for those of you that were familiar with Mickey Brown's office, as soon as you walked in his office, there was a time clock that was in front of his desk that had days, hours, minutes, and seconds of a countdown of 100 days. I, I couldn't imagine walking in my office every day, every hour, looking up at how much time I have left to open up the casino, to actually convert the convention center into a, a gaming place. And what an accomplishment it was. And what it meant for us at Memorial Medical Center is over 20 years ago, many of you are very familiar with this area, there was nothing here. There was no employment, there was no activity, and overnight there would literally be over 2,000 workers here, there'd be over 10 to 15,000 patrons here a day, which essentially meant that we really needed to change the front door of the medical center. We needed to build a brand new emergency room. We needed to build a heart center. After all, if you win, you might have a heart attack. If you lose, you'll definitely have a heart attack. So either way, we figured we needed a cardiac center. So <clears throat> what it did was the Seneca Nation and the Seneca Gaming Corp was the catalyst for a renewal of the Memorial Medical Center. And over the past 20 years, we've invested over $100 million two blocks from here in building new capital infrastructure, new technology, new programs, new services. That would not have been possible if we were not the benefactor of the gaming pact of $750,000 a year over 20 years. That's $15 million of the $100 million that we spent on improving the health care and the quality of life for the residents in the Niagara region, as well as the tourists, the many millions of tourists that come and visit the falls every single year. That $15 million was the catalyst for a major transformation two blocks from here. And so from a hospital's perspective and from our board's perspective, we are very, very grateful for the relationship, the partnership that we have with the Seneca Nation and the Seneca Gaming Corp, such that we have reserved a seat on our governing board for representation of the Seneca Nation. Our current board member is a Seneca counselor who is here today, Tina Abrams. There's somewhere in the crowd, there's Tina. That's my boss, one of my bosses. Uh, we're very grateful for her her dedication and her time spending with the Memorial Medical Center. So again, I want to thank the leadership of the Seneca Nation, the leadership of the Seneca Gaming Corp for the support and the continued support and hopefully in the renewal of the compact, the continued support for the vital health care services that we need for this, for this region. Thank you very much. Joe, thank you for those great comments. I think one of the things that uh, Joe brought up, and it's just so important, is that you know, all of us being here today is about that we are here and we will always be here. And I think that's a critical component. So, okay, a signed compact, a completely transformed building. Needed supplies, but the most important ingredient in our success 
has always been our people. Seneca Gaming Corporation is one of the largest private employers in western New York. Approximately 3,000 people work at our casino properties 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. They are without question the best team in the business. And could I get a round of applause for our Seneca Gaming Corporation team members. For me, it's a pleasure every day to come to work. And you want to want to talk about impact? Our team members live in every corner of our community. Nearly 1,000 are Niagara County residents. Approximately 1,000 come from Erie County and more than 500 from Cattaraugus County residents. Plus, we have people that come from other parts of Western New York, as well as Canada, Pennsylvania, and the Rochester area. They are truly the face of Western New York. We are especially proud that 160 of our employees have worked for us for nearly 20 years. That's about 5% of our workforce who have been with us since day one, and we call them day oneers. Many of them are here today, and I'd like to give them a special round of applause. I'd love to have all 160 of them come up and tell their story, but I think we'd be here for a while. However, I do want to invite one of our 20-year employees, Justine Campanella, to come forward and say a few words. Justine. Okay. 20 years ago, if someone would have told me I'd be working here at the corporation, I would not have believed them. I went to a job fair to get an application for my brother at the Sattler building. While I was there, I was greeted by many people who were working and recruiting for the corporation. And they were pretty persistent about me filling out an application. I did, even though I was still in school just had my second child, and I was not looking to get back into the workforce. After filling out the application and going home later, later that day, I found out my husband had just been laid off from his job. So I got a phone call, and on the answer machine was the corporation, and they offered me a position in human resources. He told me to take it. At first, I was hesitant because the cost of daycare was insane and it just would not work out but he said no worries you want to do this you do it and I'll stay home with the kids great so that's what I did I came to work here and I helped hire a lot of the original team members there were lines out of the building over at the Rainbow Center and it was it was something to see it really was and to see this building conformed in 100 days. <sighs> Working at Seneca has definitely opened a lot of doors for me and for my family and my children. My parents were able to provide for me, but probably not in the way they wish they could have. But I am able to do this for my children. I am able to give them everything they need to fulfill their dreams of whatever it may be. Um, I support them with their education, any of their activities. <laughs> We've done a lot of activities, baseball, dance, lacrosse, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. We've done it all. But through all of this, I have to say, the corporation has always stood by me, given me opportunities to go back to my to my dreams of going back to school and fulfilling things that I thought I would never be able to do. So that is why I stand with Seneca and I am proud to be an employee here as well as a Seneca Nation member. Now I. Try to find my place here. Sorry. Thank you, Justine. 
you know, I can't say enough for Justine Campanella. Actually, uh, I get to work with her, and she's one of the people when I decide to come back to the corporation. Um, it was really nice. I mean, I think everyone had open doors, but I have to say Justine always had that open door of being a teacher, and I think that speaks highly for all our team members. I wanted to take the time to thank all of our speakers, guests, and friends for joining us today. Thank you for standing with us, for sharing your stories, and for giving a voice and a face to what the Seneca Nation has delivered over the past two decades and everything we provide to our region every day. I'd like all the speakers to come up for a second, if you could. And please, Kip, Joe, Paul, if you could. And I'm just going to kind of go off script, but I, I just wanted to, to, to ask one question, you know, and, and it just can be a word or two. But I think as we've gone through this, it's been wonderful to have your comments. I can't say enough of those. And I'd like to ask if you could just say a word or two of what you feel it means to you to stand with Seneca. It's very easy for us to stand with Seneca. Seneca has always done what they said they would do. I heard that happen. Someone said that before, right? But in their relationships with us, they've always conducted themselves with the highest ethics. They held themselves accountable when it was appropriate. They held us accountable when it was appropriate. It was truly a team effort. And Seneca, as I said before, is truly a partner in our business. And we hope that they consider, I think they do, consider us a partner in their business. We really do care. So honestly, it's easy to stand with Seneca. Yeah, I really don't have much more to add than what was already said. And but I think the, 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 it's hard to quantify the impact on the, improving the quality of life. And, you know, with some of the life-saving programs that we put in place that were partially funded through this relationship with the Seneca Nation and the Seneca Gaming Corp, um, lives were saved. So how, how do you put a number on, on that? And, in terms of improving the quality of life for the Niagara residents, um, you know, I think that speaks loudly in terms of what it means to have the Seneca Nation here and the Seneca Gaming Corp here and, and the relationship that we have. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's been life-saving. Thank you. Uh, I would say uh, my thoughts are that the Senecas are inconsistently consistent. Uh, as everybody knows, they elect a new president every two years, and so the different president every two years for the last 20 years, that means there's been 10 presidents. Yet they've always been the same with the, with the building trades. They're very consistent, They're, they support us, we support them. So it's, it's kind of surprising that when new administration comes in, they don't clean house, they, they stay the same. It's, it's very nice to see. I kind of wish that everybody else would follow their example. I also wanted, I, I would be remiss without uh, being able to offer other comments. And so what I wanted to do is we have other dignitaries here. As we go through, I'm going to start with the mayor of uh, Niagara Falls, Robert Restaino. Thank you, Kevin. You know, it's great to be here uh, to remember uh, how the landscape of Western New York and most especially the city of Niagara Falls changed 20 years ago. The contributions that the uh, Seneca Nation uh, and the Gaming Corporation have made to the community um, are numerous. Uh, I can tell you that this administration is working hard um, to create, establish, and build um, great relationships with our neighbors uh, in the Seneca Nation. Uh, we think 
our administration thinks uh, that standing with the Seneca is as important as standing with every other business that we have in this community. And so for us, for this administration, um, it's very important uh, that we work closely um, with our friends at the Seneca Nation. So congratulations in celebrating this 20-year uh, anniversary, um, and let's hope we get that compact taken care of shortly. Thank you all. I always get a little bit confused with all the titles, but I, a great friend of mine too, Assemblyman Angelo Morinello. Thank you. I am extremely proud to stand with the Senecas. They are a team with those of us in government. And remember, there's never an I in team. But what's more important, and it wasn't mentioned, they're self-sufficient. They've talked about the 100 days, but they haven't told you. They spent $1 million a day for 100 days to get this completed. And it has been a true jewel in the city of Niagara Falls. Took the hospital 15 years to spend $100 million. They did it in 100 days. But they've also impacted the school district of Niagara Falls because they are a recipient uh, and a beneficiary of the Seneca Casino. I'm going to do just a quick history. The Senecas have not been respected by everyone in the state of New York. The Kinzu Dam fiasco was mentioned. They did not have to destroy the Seneca Nation's homeland. They did not have to destroy Paul Brown's cabin. They could have moved around it, but they took them for granted. But what the Senecas did was they stood proud, they stood tall, and they still contributed. And because of that, because of the teamwork, and because of the support for the many entities that this casino and the Seneca Nation support, I am proud to stand with the Senecas. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce Senator Sean Ryan. Sean. It's my pleasure uh, to be here today. I stand with Seneca's because the Seneca stands for perseverance. From Buffalo Creek to Buffum Street to where we're standing now, the Seneca's are a permanent fixture in Western New York. I stand with the Seneca's. Thank you, everyone. We will now have our Haudenosaunee dancers perform. President Matthew Pagels and the rest of our speakers will be available for individual interviews away from the podium once they're completed. Thank you. Yawing. In the language, there it is, help me greet each other. We're honored to be here today. My name is uh, Martin Jefferson Jr. from the Seneca Nation. We're honored, uh, we have some gifted, uh, talented youth dancers here that I brought with me today here to uh, demonstrate some of our uh, traditional social dancing and what we call Hot the Gaindongi Yoinza Geika. These, uh, these dancers here are very talented, I tell you. They're, we're going to open up our our dance demonstration here with a little welcome song and dance here to welcome everybody here to Seneca Niagara here. So this is the welcome song and dance. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, it is a welcome song and dance here. These uh, dances that we that we that we're doing today here, or we call uh, social dances, or hot the guy don't get joins We utilize these songs and dances as a means of uh, entertainment or enjoyment there, and it brings all our people together. It lifts our minds and lifts our spirits up. So this next dance here we like to do here. Uh, have our ladies come on out, gentlemen. If you come on over here, please. There. This next dance here, and what we do here, and um. We hold our traditional, in our traditional ways, we hold all our females in high regard. They are the life givers, they are the clan mothers, and they are our title holders within our longhouses here. But this dance here stems way back to our creation story, as it said there. Sky woman there, she was up in the sky world, and there was a tree that was outrooted, there was a hole. And this lady fell through the hole there, and as she was falling, she was caught by a flock of birds and placed on the back of a turtle. And as she did this dance here, the bank of the turtle grew to what we call North America or Turtle Island. But they say the, mo the most important piece of this dance here is you have to watch their footwork. As they say, their feet never leave the earth, as we call a Tino and a Day. So this is the New Women's Shuffle Dance. That is what we call the ladies' dance there. S Gagne gonna say. I like to give these uh, youth dancers here a lot of credit here for getting up here and dancing. You know, a lot of times there it can um be uh, a little hard there, but uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna cap this off here with a little um we're gonna cap this off here with a little uh, work, uh smoke dance here. This dance here has been a very competitive style of dancing, but uh, we're gonna have our dancers come out here. And this will uh, conclude our uh, dance demonstration here for today here. So at this time here, I have, our, I have our, all of our dancers come on out. This is going to be a smoke dance here, style dancing here. A lot of the all times here, these dancers, they travel about the different uh, contests and whatnot there. So, smoke dance, here we go.
Our youth dancers, our Canadian youth dancers. At this time here, this will conclude our dance demonstration for today. As they say, Yahweh, for having us here. We enjoy dancing for you guys here. Yahweh, say, Benichiosta, Dani Hodiai.